I want to go back to what we already know. What does the current divided rule tell us? I want is a certain part of which color? How do you find this ratio? The one that you close. Put your finger on I1. Which resistor do you take? R2. So you say R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Correct? Yes. Now, same principle applies. You'll find that in most cases, we cannot supply an entire area using one transformer. So, depending on load, we might do, use one transformer, or if we want to increase the capacity, we will connect a second transformer. How do we operate them? In parallel. Okay? Now, let me explain to you, using an example. Right, so now, we have the following scenario. Let's call it scenario number one. So when we look at a question like this, what do we call this information? What symbol do we use for this? S. What is S? And in terms of transformers, it represents full load output. So when this transformer is working at full load, what is it giving out to the, uh, to the load? A thousand? Now I'm creating two scenarios. Scenario number one tells me that this village needs 800 kVA of power. Yeah. <laughs> can, can that transformer be used? Why not? This village needs 800 kVA of power and I've got a 1000 kVA transformer available. Can that transformer work? Yes. Why? Because the load demands lesser than the full load rating of the transport. Are you understanding? Yes. So it's like it's used or going to work on full capacity. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, and a transformer is actually, uh, a transformer does not necessarily work at full load all the time. So to give you a very simple example, you remember in the olden days when we had these downlines? So you'll find that you'll buy a 300 kVA transformer, so big one. We put it in the ceiling. But you're only using five, five bulbs. Five times 50 is 250. Can the transformer work? Yeah, you can. You're not overloading the transformer. Can you see? Just that the transformer will be relaxing because it's not working at its maximum capacity. Okay. okay. Now, scenario number two. Now this village, suddenly there's a lot of people that moved in there, they're demanding more power, and their total combined load that they want is 1,400 kVA. Can that transformer work? It won't. That, that transformer will burn. Why, why would it burn? You are demanding more than it can produce. So it can't, it can't cope with that load. Do you understand that? So in other words, it cannot produce or uh, cannot deliver 1,400 kV. What do we do? So we now take this transformer away and we buy 
1500 kVA transformer. But the municipality now, because they stole all the money, there's no money to buy a transformer. Mm -hmm. What do we do now? Connect them. Now you go into your warehouse, into your stores, and you see what transformer is available, mm -hmm. right? So say, for instance, you are now there. We need to parallel another transformer so that we can supply this goal. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Now, here's what we are going to do. So you go and check. In the uh, in the store, what transformer is available? If it's a transformer rated at 500 kVA and above, can you see the two transformers combined will give me 1,500 kVA? What does that consumer want? 1,400 kVA. Can you see I supply? So this is where we come to parallel operation of transformers. You are going to start this lesson off giving them the scenario. Mm. Did I teach you how to parallel? No. But I showed you the scenario. Then the learner begins to understand a little bit of what's going to happen. What did I teach you earlier on? Procedure. Remember, I taught you this for a reason. We're coming back here. So the procedure says, step number one. The one transformer is 1000 kVA. What size is the other transformer? Five, uh, 400, uh, 500 kV, isn't it? That's it, what I need for. Now I want to know how much of the total load will transformer A supply and how much of the load will transformer B supply. It need not necessarily be equal. So, step number one. So if my two transformers are 1000 kVA and 1000 kVA, can you see they're identical? There's no need to choose this base kVA. I am taking what scenario? I have two different sizes of transformers. Okay? So now you're going to choose a base kVA. I recommend choosing the bigger value. I'm not saying it is a rule, I'm just saying I am recommending right? choosing the bigger value. So let's get to understand what we are doing. Here we have given you two different sizes of transformers. We've given you the total load. We want you to tell me how much of the total load will this transformer supply and how much of the total load this transformer will supply. What's your step number one? You are going to choose a base case. Why? Because they are different size transformers. If they are the same size, are you going to choose a base case? No, sir. Then, step number two. It was not calculated, it's just. So, how are the transformers working? In parallel. What does the current divider rule apply to? To any circuit that has two resistors in parallel. Correct? Can you see I have two impedances in parallel? So now you are going to say the portion of the total load supplied by transformer A. How did they do that? The portion of the total load. How did they do that? Go back there. How will I work this out? So now you will put your finger on which transformer? On transformer? Correct? Transformation. 
Which impedance are you going to take? The other. Which is the other? Z B divided by Z A plus Z. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. What part of the total load will transformer B supply? Where must I put my finger now? On transformer B. Which impedance must I take? The other, which is Z A divided by Z A plus Z. Do you understand that? That's the procedure. Don't change anything. But you need to remember the following. ZA and ZB can be percentage per unit or it can also be in It doesn't matter. Why do you think it doesn't matter? If all the Zs are in percentage form, can you see percentage divided by percentage? The percentage will go away. If it's per unit, divided by per unit, can you say per unit? It's only a ratio. Mm. That is all you teach. Let's do an example, okay? Let me go back to my the N5 book. 177. Oh, 177, sorry. We're 177, uh, colleagues? 177. Now, before we go there, let's go to page 176. Remember I told you the manner in which I have written the book is the manner in which I want you to teach. So let's look at, on the left hand side, load distribution of transformers operating in parallel. Can you see the gray block? KVA of transformer A. Did I explain it to you? KVA of transformer B. Did I explain it to you? Yes. Now, let's go and look at important. There's a reason why I give you important. Be careful, examine it. Uh -huh. Let's see what it says. ZA over ZA plus ZB is basically an impedance ratio into which ohmic values, per unit values, or percentage values can be substituted. Did I explain that to you? Number B, or second point. When both transformers have the same KVA rating, use the impedance as given. Did I explain that? Mm. Yeah. When the two transformers have different KVA ratings, choose a base KVA. One transformer was 1000, the other one was 500. Which one did I choose? Is that a rule? No. no. You decide. I, I decided to choose the bigger value. Hmm. But, but I just want to ask, if I were to choose the, the smaller value... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, base, it's just that I don't like working fractions. Okay. You know, it but it doesn't affect matter. The, the final no, 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 no. answer. No, no, no. That's why I said I recommend. You can do anyone. You can even choose a different value. The dis disadvantage when you choose a different value, then you're going to adjust transformer A's impedance, you're going to adjust transformer B's. You're wasting time. Hmm. In the you see? Hmm. But it doesn't matter. You choose anyone. Then it says, choose a base KVA and adjust each impedance to the base KVA using the following formula. New Z is original Z multiplied by the base KVA divided by the KVA of the transformer. You see? So I'm showing you how to adjust. Now, the point that uh, the colleague raised now, if I choose the smaller, it doesn't matter. You can even choose... 5,000 kVA. But what is the disadvantage? You're going to adjust both the both impedances mm. to 5,000 kVA. And then it says, because transformers are rated in kVA, this is very important. We, all, we work only with kVA. Uh -huh. Therefore, if the load that needs to be supplied is given in kilowatts, what must you do? You convert mm -hmm. kVA. Mm -hmm. How? You divide by cost. Mm -hmm. Right? Convert the KVA by dividing the power factor. Mm -hmm. Now look at the example that I've given to you. Mm -hmm. Two single phase transformers are operating in parallel, supplying a common load of 800 kilowatts. Can you work with kilowatts? No. Can you work? It? No. What must you do? Convert, Convert to KVA. Now that's the load. 
So that is why I, and I'm giving you the power factor of 0 0.8 lagging. The following data regarding the transformers is given. Transformer A, transformer B. Are they the same size? No. No. So are you going to choose the base KVA? 700. Now, can you see that the resistance and reactance are in percentage? Does it matter? No. Can be any value. doesn't matter. Now I'm saying determine the portion of load supplied by each transformer and the power factor of the load supplied by each transformer. Then I'm it said given, but because we work only with KVA, convert the load to KVA. Did I do that? Divide by the power factor? Mm. Then I'm saying, let us use 700 KVA as the base KVA. So therefore, ZA, can you see it will remain unchanged? Mm. Why? Because it is the a 700 base. KVA transform. The That's the base. Can you see ZB must change? Mm. Why? Because that is a 5. 50 KV. So now I say set B new. You see, I like using the word old and new. You see, that doesn't make any confusion. That is ZB as uh, original multiplied by the ratio. What's the ratio? Base KV over transform KV. You adjusted that. Then can you see it? I use this formula. Does it make sense, Pilia? Yeah. See how easy it is. Mm -hmm. So scenario and then you give procedure. I can give the learner any example. The learner will do it. Mm. But turn over. That is where the black mamba is sitting. <laughs> <laughs> you see that example? <laughs> Let's do that just after lunch. Yeah. I, I want to go through it. That's, that's the black mamba. 20 marks. This, this carries the exam. 20 marks. Yeah.